<laughs> to me, my X-Men. Say it. To me, my X-Men. <laughs> oh, yes. To me, my 90s kids, yes, we are reeling in X-Men 97. Today is that day. We got ourselves a two-episode premiere. I'm excited for this. I decided to re-watch the animated show, and I had a blast reliving that. I'm a 90s kid. By the time that this show was over with, I grew up. I decided to have some fun my Saturday mornings with my big bowl of cereal. And that was by reeling in the X-Men animated show when I was a kid. And now, after it decided to end with Charles Xavier, his death, we are now years later and we are getting a continuation of the story with an upgrade to the animation style, which I think looks pretty good from the trailer and now we have a new show continuing the story the characters the love that i have for these characters once again with x-men 97. what are your guys thoughts on the x-men animated show sound off in the comments down below what do you guys think about this two episode premiere sound off in the comments down below i'm excited super excited matter of fact me and my girlfriend decided to build this two days ago just in preparation of this show so yeah i'm super stoked x-men 97 you know how we kickstart off things by saying it's time to read it in yeah this is how we reel in Cyclops, Jean Grey, oh I'm loving this, Wolverine, Morph, I really wish, Jubilee, I really wish they dropped this on Saturday mornings, Bishop, Professor X, even though he's uh, supposedly dead, Six. you don't skip this intro, you just don't do it, <laughs> Magneto, yep, just, just the same. X-Men 97, I like how they added that in there with the lightning effect. To me, my X-Men. That's the title of this episode. Man, we are really, really back. Professor Charles Xavier, the mutant leader's assassination last year by former NSA agent Henry Gyrick has spurred increased right. sympathy toward right in the mutants courtroom. despite their strange power. But is mankind ready oh. to share a future with those whose science claims were born to replace us? Now we got ourselves a mutant. Oh, F.O.H. Says he's using them for target practice. Oh, they got like equipment of broken down sentinels, it seems. What's this freak's trick? No clue. Kid didn't even try to use his powers. Ah, uh, who are you? I am begging you. I didn't ask for this, okay? I was born this way. Ain't that the rub. F.O.H. Still being bad. Still hating on mutants. Here come the X-Men. That's Storm. That's Storm. Grab a sentinel blaster and spread out! A sentinel blaster. I am Storm, mistress of the elements! Surrender the boy or face my fury! I love how they got the voice actors all back, too. I ain't afraid of you, you witch. <laughs> Better be. Then you are a fool. Put him down real quick. Pardon me, Bishop, for striving to resolve matters peacefully. A real peaceful storm. He's killing Charged up. Oh my Is God. it me? Or did these dirtbags get upgrades? That's what I said. They got upgrades. <laughs> Off Sentinel's tech. Where's Wolvie? Where's Bright Eyes? There we go. Deals. Good guy or bad guy? Oh, Cyclops. Good guy. Hang tight. <laughs> He'll create some distance. Bro, he's blasting these guys. They gotta be dead, right? Almost to the face. Oh no. Get out the way. Oh, 
Ah, oh, come on. You freak shows think we wouldn't find a way to evolve too? <laughs> Take his visor before he starts up no, again. No, don't do that. No, don't. I surrender. Psych. <laughs> Not. Oh, he's a god. <laughs> I thought he was going to say psych. Oh, that's happened before. Long time ago. You stopped the bad guys, saved the kid, got home safe. Gambit. Norman Bishop are made of sterner stuff than you think. Rogue always <laughs> comes to Gambit's rescue. Hey, she does. The last few months have been rough. What with the professor being gone and all. all right, so it's Rogue been a few is months. Right, Cyclops. Scott, while I trust that all it's my morph. students would gladly morph. die for my dream of a better future. That's wrong to do that, though. He's dead at the moment. Stop being a creep, Morph. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. Maybe this hell. Jean. Oh, she's pregnant. They're about to have another X-Men. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, showcase your powers. You don't have that uh, collar on your neck anymore. So this episode I saw was 33 minutes, which is crazy to me because they've added more time to the episodes because in the past there were like only 21 minutes. I'm blue, very blue. Hank McCoy here. Or if you prefer my friendly nom de guerre. Beast. One day life's fresh, then the next day you're waking up to a blue monkey singing Mozart as he tinkers with doohickeys. <laughs> Simeon analogies, Jubilee. And this doohickey is an elegant piece of art capable of teleporting someone through time and space. I wonder if Cable's gonna show up this season too as well. Roberto, we can't let you go just yet. Roberto, the sunspot. Your attackers could still be out there, child. Should we let you leave, they could find you and kill you. And the new hair, hairstyle for Storm, too. Give us the day to figure this out. Then you can go do whatever a kid like you does. At least say there's something to do around here besides listen to Mozart. Dang, Beast. A new age begins as we build a bright, mutant future. Video games are for nerds. <laughs> oh, it's no game, buddy. It's the danger room. Yeah, the danger room. The like is not even real. You would turn your back on your own? Uh, don't say that, dude. It's the danger room. It could be very real. Wolvie! Show the lady some respect. Oh, Jeez. so scary, Jubilee. Computer. That's and real. Program. <laughs> scary enough for you, bub? <laughs> that was a good intro. How are these groups getting this tech? You said the UN destroyed all the Sentinels. Yeah, all the Sentinels should be done for, but I'm guessing they're gonna make a return in this show. trust has been missing ever since his inventions tried to swap out President Kelly's brain with a Sentinel computer. Exactly. He'd need a Master Mold factory to build master the Sentinels, mold. and you X-Men destroyed the only one years ago. Charles Xavier was a dear friend of mine. It's why I urged the UN Council to work with the X-Men. Professor loved to say, trust happens when actions meet words. Cyclops out. That's the question. Who is the leader of the X-Men? Is it Cyclops? Or will it be somehow, some way, Magneto? You know, if he were here, the team wouldn't be shooting hoops while slime like the Friends of Humanity are running around with Sentinel blasters. Remember when we were young and we'd sneak down to the lake instead of doing our danger room drills? And the professor would shout, your childish hijinks have cost you five demerits, young man. <laughs> demerits. <laughs> and you'd say, but sir, what's the point of being an X-Man if we're not allowed to enjoy our lives? Whoa, whoa, I did not sound like that. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> you still sound like that. <laughs> With the baby coming, maybe it's time to think of a life just beyond the X-Men? No, for them two, a life just for these two. We were the professor's first students. The X-Men need us here. The team will be fine. Our son will need us more. Yeah, it's son. It's okay for you to let go. Mm. Yeah, it's almost that. Oh, no. Who did that? My bet is Wolverine. Bozo here scared Roberto off. <laughs> Roberto actually dipped. <laughs> All of you could stand to act a little more like X-Men. Hey now, we didn't do a dang thing. <laughs> the words right out of my mouth. Gene may think the Boy Scout routine summers, but I don't much go in for being bossed around. Uh, Fry yeah. me a river, Wolverine. Yeah, I love the rivalry between these two. Logan. Gene will put it, Logan in his place easily. Wanna know the worst part about the professor being gone? You. Cyclops, he's, he's got a lead. And yeah, he's got to boss people around. They're at a nightclub. <laughs> nice place to pass a good time, eh, Shay? Yeah, the couple. They're a couple, right? It's like kind of like off and on in the, you know, older animated show. The 
If I was down there and one of them brushed against my skin, my power sap and touch would leave him with a nasty hangover. <laughs> yeah, it worked out, man. Over with. Gladly suffer your hand in a dance. Take that glove off. I know what's wrong. That's so wrong. And I'm having the most beautiful baby in the world with the most boring oh man in the world. God. And oh, hello, you on the sidelines. If we ain't fighting like Nato, we're dodging aliens and sentinels. School's no place for a baby. He knows as much. You don't <laughs> think they're leaving the team, Morph. Oh, he knows. He sniffed that one out. Morph knows all about leaving the team. Good gracious, this man kept leaving the team back in the animated show. But I'm glad that he's, you know, officially still back with the team. No, no, I'm not going back there. Torque, let's go. You're not safe here. One dance, then I'll come. No, two teenagers getting distracted. Ah, it's a light show. Gyrick, you're serving 25 years. You talk and I get it down to Just 10. Just 25? Good gracious. This man killed literally the one. Your cruelty has only made humanity more sympathetic to our cause. Right, Storm. Oh, did it? Normal people know the more room we make for your kind, the less we leave for ours. So we might wear mm. tolerance on our sleeves, but we know the naked truth. Ten years, Guy that was, Yours to win or lose. That was a speech right there from him. I won the day I shot the man you freak shows look up to. Oh, and you get an hell. A for effort, Mr. Summers. But we both know you're no Charles Xavier. I'm not Charles Xavier. He'd reason with you. Be patient. He'd do not everything him. in his power to not save him. you. From what? Hatred weakens oh. your mind, Mr. Gyrick. She put the helmet on. Get out of my head! <laughs> One master hold is not enough. We need backups. I know a place. I know a place. So master mold is there. Something's wrong. Creating sentinels. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Is someone in her mind? She's not pregnant. Oh, this is trippy trippy. Not again. It's Sandman. <laughs> Good gracious, that's a giant sentinel. Master Mold, that's his head. Back from the grave. Dude, those are gigantic grave of mutants. What I felt, we have to stop Trask. Now. I say we skip detaining and mail Trask back to the UN. In a body bag. There will be no dismembering, Wolverine. Nah. Weight loss. <laughs> <laughs> Keep buzzing in my ear. What would we do if we ever lost you? Uh, don't put that out there. What the hell happened? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Oh my god, the Blackbird is destroyed in the first episode. Oh, Archangel! What other crazy characters will uh, morph, morph into? Solid work, team. See you on the ground. You ain't got no parachute. Is he wearing a parachute? No. No, he wasn't. Damn, dude. Yo, he doesn't need a parachute. That is badass. Go ahead, Scott. <laughs> to me, my X-Men. Say it. To me, my X-Men. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Trask, Master Mold right there. Trask, we don't want to This is like the third time fighting. Hopefully third time's a charm and they take him out. They look like zomb- they're like zombified sentinels. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. They're playing that theme. Go ahead, Rogue. Heads up! Heads up, pun intended. This is light work for them. Go ahead, Beast. Greetings, enemy mind. Might I induce you to a change of heart? <laughs> Always oh, going Lewis, in. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful involuntary friendship. Oh my god, he's controlling it. Dude, that's never happened. That's sick. 
Somebody charge up Bishop. He's got it. Oh. Give him the forecast. The forecast. Storm. A high level storm. Damn. Where's she at? <laughs> and to reclaim these relics of hatred. Sick. Oh my god, that's a category infinity tornado. Damn, Storm. You should have, you know, led with that one. Oh, it's about time to take you this guy out. Underestimate us, oh, this shot from the trailer. Sick. That is so bad. What? Hey, yo! That's how we're getting cameos. Is gonna be because of Morph. I remember as a kid, I freaked out when Morph transformed into like Deadpool. He did that multiple times. But all you do is remind us that our days are numbered. That humanity itself is obsolete. Shut up, Trass. Put him in jail. We all win when men like him fail. You sound like Charles. He would have been proud today. Oh, for sure. It was a team effort. <laughs> Always has been. This whole suit was messed up. Team's on their way back. Mission accomplished. I just realized Jubilee was not, you know, part of the team, but I given the fact she has to watch over him. This isn't some weird school. It's a family. Hmm. A family that accepts you. Sounds nice. Yeah, join it. Your parents don't a new know, member. do they? I mean, they might lose Scott Some and sort of solar Jean. energy gotta add to the bunch yeah next man Jubilee I don't even want to be myself damn what's your job hot and rich don't forget single <laughs> that was smooth Jean and I have an announcement you're bailing on us to go raise your little one someplace nice uh -oh. and normal uh -oh. Logan Cyclops and Jean were the first X-Men if they're gone who the heck is gonna lead the team mm. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna get a cliffhanger. A classic to be continued. Charles Xavier Magneto. was the finest man I knew, despite our differences. How nice of him to put it back on the wall. What are you doing in our home? The last will and testament of Charles Francis Xavier. His fortune, uh -oh. his school, everything he built. He's gonna take over. Everything he fought for belongs to me. Uh-oh, Scott. My X-Men. <laughs> My X-Men. Look at that. Him taking over already. Ah, I love how they're doing this, just like the animated show. The characters on the side, you click them and it tells you, you know, their abilities and stuff. That's so dope. I'm glad they kept that the same way. But that's episode one. I'm so glad we get to reel in two episodes. But yeah, the run times for both of these episodes is 33 minutes long. Which, you know, like I said before, is a big increase than what we had with the X-Men animated show. Those episodes were barely even 20 minutes. They clocked around, I believe, 21 or 22 minutes. But really, they felt like well under 20 minutes. So it's time for episode two. Let's go. I just realized the Marvel animation, I like how it showcased you know, all the other Marvel animated shows that you know, they are currently working on and have been working on. Magneto. Damn it. Mutant liberation begins. That's a famous quote from Magneto. Poor kid is afraid of heights. If he wasn't, then he is now. Oh my gosh. Oh. No, no, no. Who's saving it? Who's saving it? Obviously the X-Men, but who? Nah, it's Magneto. It's Magneto. Art? Look at me, people. Is that who I think it is? I'm a hero. Saving humans? Yeah, Magneto. Mutant terrorist turned hero. Maybe he did this for us. Oh, he's self-doubting. He trusted you. I mean, come on. We've seen Scott be a leader plenty of times throughout the X-Men animated show. Plenty of times. So he shouldn't doubt himself. <laughs> This is our home, you pig. Hey. This is all we have left. Oh, it's these people again. Oh, leech. Even denying these outcasts Damn. the indignity of your waste. 
He's really helping out. Electricity and magnetism are intimately acquainted. How unfortunate for you that I am the master of magnetism. Dirty mutant! You get what's coming! He <laughs> shut you up. I promise you, child, you shall never be afraid again. Is he really gonna be good in this show? I can see him actually turning good, but it'd be wild. Seen a lot of futures, but Magneto leading the X-Men. That's a new one. Right? Maybe we go change it back, huh? Uh, that'd be something to do, but therefore that would create another whole branching of a timeline. For the Morlocks to travel to the mutant nation of Genosha. Right, the Morlocks. My X-Men. <sighs> Guess we can my assume those jerks in the sewer are- Alive, proof of my desire to honor Charles Xavier's dream it's of mutant proof of, you know, doing good. Let Jean scan your mind. See your real plans. Scott, mm. no. Even if I sensed Magneto's intentions were sincere, that's today, this hour, this minute. And we check She's every right. minute of every day. I was under the welcome impression that you and Mrs. Summers were leaving us. And <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> My intentions here were not to cause drama or discord. That's crazy that Professor X would, you know, put that in the will and not Scott, but Magneto. I mean, I get it. Magneto's like his brother. Xavier wanted this. Maybe he was wrong. You have finally realized what I did ages ago. Even Charles Xavier can make a mistake. Wow. Wow. Haven't worn this old thing since that battle in the blue area of the moon. That's our old costume. Classic. If he's a mutant, how do I tell him he's different? Aww. That the world will remind him of it every day. That he must always be careful, always be on guard or else... You wish him to be born human. Part of her does, I believe. I have wondered what it would be like to be human. But then I remember how my mutant gifts brought me to this mansion, to this family, to a sister. Those are comfort words. Boy, do I sound like a fool. <sighs> no, Jean. Sound like a mother. You sound like a mother. Aw, oh, girlfriends. Back when we were friends, I would always sense Charles in my mind. I was in his thoughts and he in mine. I am indebted to honor his last wish, even yeah, if his X-Men won't trust me. I, I don't think he's dead. I think he's going to return somehow, some way. Pretty much by the end of the season, I think. X-Men still took me in. I didn't go about demanding their trust. I earned it. Yeah, you got to earn everyone's trust. To avoid being alone with me, Rogue. Hey, yo, be very careful with that. Do you think your team would still trust you if they knew? That was a long time ago, Eric. And that cat's gotta stay in its bed. What? They had a thing together? I ain't know that. <laughs> you didn't know that. <laughs> oh my god. We don't lose our cool when the good guys show up. Well, these good guys have guns and they're pointed right at you. This is UN, the United Nations. They don't trust Magneto. Our rifles are resistant to your electromagnetic powers. <laughs> but not your helicopter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hereby place you under arrest for crimes against humanity. Soon is a fair trial. Will I earn your trust? That is how due process works. So be it. He's gonna take it to court. I yield. Changed man. A step in the right direction. Hard to go along with it, just like how the X-Men are. That's how I'm feeling. Any updates? Cooper's listing every nasty step Magneto's taken from here to Asteroid M. <laughs> Asteroid M, I remember that. Have you seen Scott? Oh, he's there with the others, making sure Magneto doesn't pull one of his stunts. He didn't tell me. Oh, he's on the front A lot of that going around okay. lately. He's inside. The day mankind made Magneto pay. Folks out there want the UN's head just as much as his. Jeez. Stir the pot, boys. F.O.H. just distracted. does not quit. I'll only have one shot. And you're gonna miss. Defendant may now speak. That's a cool shot. As a boy, my people's home. As a boy, Kingpin. When I was a boy. Believe differently. Be of different sex or skin and be punished. The oppressed become oppressors. The Morlocks are listening. A future where human and mutant could relinquish the past and finally work together. 
you claim justice is overdue. Your words, while kind, do nothing to heal those hurt by your crime. And your soundbite indignation will not heal mutant wounds. You build robots to own. hunt us, collars to chain our power. Humanity must protect itself. Protection? That is extermination. I have only ever acted to avenge crimes against my people. That's true. As you act to avenge those against yours today. You would walk Charles Xavier's path? Not the worst thing that's don't go Magneto's way, don't you think? Uh, Gambit, you have no idea what they've been up to <laughs> in the past. Protest is a breach in the perimeter. They must want Magneto. And the judges, ma'am. What in the blazes did we do? <laughs> we gave a monster trial. Now you are traitors to your guy. Oh, to play by the rules and still they come for you. Yeah, that's life of a mutant. Logan! Uh-oh, water broke? He's here! <laughs> Apocalypse! The baby! The baby! <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Careful, Logan! You gotta fill in for Scott. But you should definitely call Scott. Oh, they're breaching it. Draw on the line. I am unable to ascertain the nature of the weapon on his back. Got a name? Executioner. Executioner. <gasps> Got that sentinel tech. It's just one guy. FOH. Get him out of here. Easy work. Just take him out. Come on. Dang, Bishop. Absorb <gasps> this. Oh, wow. Well, now you answer to me. Humanity answers to no one. Hey, that doesn't belong to you. <laughs> Dude, Scott. Well, you're kind. You act like you got it so bad. Normal people have it hard too. Harder. We just have the dignity not to whine about it. Fucking smack and beat him. Hey, what? Oh, that's Morph. I was like, hold on. Psylocke. Yeah, like I said, Morph is our cameo guy. The baby's coming, Scott. Storm. Morph's here, but they're losing the line. Bro. Get to your kid. They got it. So passing off the leadership to Storm. You, and call her Magneto. You. Well, now who does she think she? Do not think. Shut Be up, dude. silent. Heed my commands, and you shall survive. Exactly. This is a chance for Magneto to show, you know, everyone else that he's a changed show person. Show you a C-section, Tom. Oh my God. Dude. Do not. This doctor won't deliver our baby. Rogue. It's because she's a mutant. I trust you. We both do. That's Enough. crazy to do. You all need to. Sorry, sugar. Oh my ah! god. Oh my god. Prep an IV and get this lady to a room. Oh my god. Rogue is going to perform the surgery on Jean to deliver the baby. That's wild. Oh, y'all in trouble now. But you can't hurt these people, Magneto. Be animals. Oh my god. And be caged! <laughs> Let us see how their mob manners fare against the Jeez. shock of good conduct! Oh, it's a cage! That's one hell of a teamwork right there. Uh oh, this guy. Storm! She's okay, right? Don't do it. Don't kill him. There's, there's eyes on you. Oh, you in trouble. Your powers. Dude, so it's like a collar within that gun. This was not what we wanted. Lies. This is your dream. My kind splayed before you. Oh, he's going dark. Is this the high road's destination? If so, I say as I have too many times before. Never again. No! Let us go! What is he about to do with all them? Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bro, what is the plan here? Oh my god, dude. Hey, yo, you are way up. Bigot. Ingrate. He's gonna 
drop it. Sycophant worm. <sighs> so small I could smite you with a step. There was a time I would smite you all for what was done to Storm. But today, I have saved you from your own. For an old friend has challenged me to remember this view of Earth. Wow. How vast it is versus how small we make it. Okay. Charles Xavier entrusted me with his dream, and it does not ask you to love or embrace my kind this as your own. This is how he does it, how he changes their minds. My kind, like yours, have the right to live in it. I am trying to be better. Wow. Please. <sighs> Listen to him. Do not make me let you down. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Well, doesn't he need a name? I was thinking Nathan. Nathan Summers. Yeah, that's my boy. Nathan Summers. Nathan Charles Summers. Oh, Wolf, Wolfie. Look at Wolfie. That man was heartbroken when they got married, and now he's even more heartbroken now that they had a kid. <laughs> Issued a pardon for Magneto. Well, Magneto's a free man. Let's see how long this lasts. We will begin talks to admit the mutant nation of Genosha into the United Nations. Magneto Poison? Dark Roast. Does this mean you trust me? The professor trusted you, and I trust him. He doesn't trust you. He trusts the professor's will. The executioner's laser rifle fired a concentrated dose of that same radiation. Oh my god, it's permanent. It affects genetics on a cellular level. The effects appear permanent. Damn. We'll fix this. Scott and I aren't going anywhere, okay? Damn. Not until you're well again. You're human. That's crazy. To be honest, the executioner should have shot it at Rogue. You know, Rogue still has thoughts of being human. She wants to touch. Jean, my sister. You, of all the X-Men, know the heartbreak of saying goodbye. Oh, she's leaving? She's going back to Africa. Go marry Black Panther. It is human nature to crave connection, as it is also mutant nature to be heard, seen, feel another soul finally seeing yours. Just like that. Magneto reeled her in. One we sacrifice so much to maintain. <laughs> you asshole. Then sometimes watch it break in a blink that changes your oh, life forever. Damn, Gambit. And now we walk in two very different worlds. Our team is broken now. I trust that I will cherish what we shared as X-Men. They just lost a heavy hitter. Like another woman's life for another person's dream. Muff. Ororo. Why she leave a letter? She could have, you know, said that to them face to face. The blast had your name on it. Should be you leaving, Mon ami. I don't buy it. Not one minute. Storm will spend a day schlepping it with the basic folk and come right home, happy as a... She's back! Death. Jean? What? I need the X-Men. Uh, uh, what? Wait, that's Jean. Jean, huh? That's Mystique. It's gotta be Mystique. It's gotta be Mystique. You bring in Mystique, you bring in Nightcrawler. Matter of fact, if it's Mystique, Rogue, your mom's at the front door. <laughs> but, yo, what a to-be-continued moment right there. Another cliffhanger, you know, back-to-back. -back. But, yeah, two episodes reeled in. There we have it. I can't wait for episode three. But you know what we gotta do. Let's talk about it. All right, there we have it. Two good episodes back to back good episodes that is what we reeled in here what do you guys think about episode one and episode two i'm excited for episode three um i think from here on out it will just be us reeling in just one episode but a two episode premiere this is what disney plus does unless you're the bad batch and we got to reel in three episodes for its premiere but usually with a new show whether it's star wars marvel you name it it's always a two episode premiere but yeah it's good to be back the animation style the 2d mixing with you know the whole 3d type of animation style i love it here i love it here um i was very um i would have to say nervous about reeling in this show because 
as all things go, when you when something from your past decides to come back and continue for a newer generation, you feel like they might change it up a bit and do it of a disservice. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like here, what they did with this show was not only bring back the heart that we share with these characters, with this cast, I think they step in the right direction and they do it really well with reeling in us the old the the old fans of this show the 90s kids the 2000s kids the people that grew up later down the road and decided to watch the show on a saturday morning the people that decided to gear up for this show for the very first time that decided to re-watch or watch for the very first time the x-men animated show while also reeling in new people that did not watch the X-Men animated show, but decided to dive right on in with this show, X-Men 97. I think they nailed it. I had my expectations really low, but my expectations were not only met, but they were exceeded. That is what I'm saying as of right now, but two good episodes. Um, it's great to have everyone back. The chemistry is back. You can tell with the voice actors. It's it's a good feeling, you can tell, for sure. And it's a good feeling for us. It's a good feeling for me to be back in this world of one of the best shows of all time. It's just a continuation and it stays true and it sticks with that while also not reinventing, but continuing and updating what's already was good. Now the X-Men animated show, I had a lot of filler episodes. So I'm not expecting a bunch of filler episodes with X-Men 97, given the fact that this is just a nine episode event. We've already knocked out two, so seven more episodes, seven more weeks to reel in peak at the moment because these two episodes are peak. Magneto being the leader um, was in uh, Xavier's will and it takes not only Scott, but it takes me quite a bit to you know be on that side of Magneto leading the X-Men. A part of me wants it to be Scott, and you feel for Scott because Scott clearly deserves it. And now the guy that you've been battling all your lives since you got here <laughs> is now the leader. A very close friend to Charles, a brother to Charles, is now the leader. And I know how Scott's feeling. He, he, he doesn't feel betrayed. He just feels like the moment he had it within his hands and now it's taken away. I mean, he absolutely leads the team really well throughout these two episodes. And then by the end of episode one, it's taking away it's it's taken away from him. And that's what happens. Magneto comes in and takes it away. But then Magneto is on trial, which allows Scott to step up, but Scott is not able to do so because now he has a kid with Jean. And so a lot of things are going on. And then Storm gets shot, loses her powers. Wild, wild. It's basically the collar updated and upgraded into a gun. That is crazy. I'm surprised they didn't think of doing that in the X-Men animated show. So that is cool that they bring something like that here. That's very cool. But I'm so glad that they are done with the Sentinels and they wrapped that up all in one episode. Um, so that was good. Uh, Master Mold coming back. The Sentinels basically looking zombified, which was a real gnarly moment, Trask. And obviously getting a speech from the man that took out Charles Xavier. That whole first episode set the tone of that, yes, we are keeping this show very mature while also appealing to not only adults, but to the kids too as well. And that's another big time plus from me to this show and they're nailing it well they're mixing it well we got ourselves a good show here guys so i feel like nobody i mean i can't say nobody some people are, will still have their doubts and will still be you know a little bit cautious moving forward but i think we can all open our hearts a little bit or look at the show and be proud of what we just witnessed with these two episodes because these are really good two episodes, man. Really good two episodes. The FOH is back once again, and they're just they're just in the way. 
they're just in the way except for the executioner that dude was whooping everyone's ass which threw me off guard putting hands on bishop that threw me off gambit too as well absolutely doing the work on scott i was not liking that i was like come on man no way in hell no way in hell but um yeah he shot um storm that bullet was meant for magneto matter of fact should have shot rogue like i said in my reaction rogue's been wanting to touch someone and she does and that's magneto and then we find out that in the past well before the x x-men animated show that they had a thing that's wild did not know that and gambit clearly can tell by its end and he's not happy he's not happy with magneto you got a lot of x-men that are not happy with magneto at the moment but they understand it's in the will of xavier it would be a different story if it was not in the will and then then Magneto just pops right on in and decides to lead them. That would not sit right with anyone. I am surprised that Wolverine did not speak up more about the situation that Magneto is now the leader of the X-Men. I feel like that might be a minor criticism for me. I was expecting Wolverine to speak up um, a little bit more than he did um, when it comes to Magneto saying, yeah, it's in the will. I'm doing what my brother told me to do. I'm going to uphold that. Whether you guys like it or not, I will lead you. So I was expecting Wolverine to step up. I know a few others decided to speak on about it, mainly Scott, but I was expecting Wolverine to, you know, be a little bit more angry or shout at, you know, shout out the moment of, yeah, this guy is stepping in. A guy that I do not like. A guy that constantly kicks my ass because given the fact my whole inner self of my body is adamantium and I can't do anything to Magneto. You would think this guy, Wolverine, the hothead himself, would lash out or have a lashing out moment when it comes to Magneto leading the X-Men. Maybe we'll get that down the road, but I feel like it was missing in episode two. But everyone else is great here. Sunspot in episode one. Can't wait to see him reappear again. Not only that, hopefully we get um, Nightcrawler and other mutants popping up in this show. But it looks like um, our updated character of Morph, he looks totally different now. Um, I know a lot of people aren't going to like that. I know why they decided to do that, to appeal to others. But um, Morph in here is going to be basically the cameo guy i mean we get Sabretooth as a cameo but it's morph we get so many people i i believe he decided to morph into so i wonder who else will pop up with like we got psylocke too as well uh, we got lady deathstrike she popped up too as well her crazy claws um so yeah he's the cameo guy as of right now so i wonder if morph is going to morph into like you know deadpool the punisher captain america black panther who knows or dr strange that'd be cool to see morph morph into these classic marvel characters down the road because that is what he did in the x-men animated show not only that we got cameos that were not morph um that popped up in the x-men animated show so maybe we get that too as well but I'm excited. This is a great start to season one of X-Men 97. But I can go on talking about this show a lot. But I got to reel in another another uh, Disney Plus show. And you guys know what that is. That is the Bad Batch. So I'll leave this, I'll leave this off to you guys. Um, what did you guys think about this episode? Sound off in the comments down below. Share your thoughts, whether it's good or bad. I want to hear it. That's what the comments are for. Give this video a like if you enjoyed this reaction. Can't wait for episode three. Cannot wait to reel it on in. I'm excited. I'm reeling this in at, you know, three in the three in the morning. Right now, reeling in two episodes, it's four in the morning, but it feels like 8 p.m. They should have dropped these episodes on a Saturday morning. It would feel like Saturday morning cartoons all over again. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they missed out on that. Disney Plus missed out on that. Hopefully when they get a season two, because I know they've already written season two. We're going to get a season two. Hopefully they decide to move it to Saturdays because that's the gold mine right there. That is classic right there. But as of right now, we're reeling in these episodes on a Wednesday. I could, you know, drop my reactions on a Saturday, but nah, I won't do that. I'm dropping these reactions on a Wednesday. But 
You guys know what to do. Sound off, sound off, sound off. I enjoyed these two episodes, and hopefully you guys enjoyed not only these two episodes, but this Reel It In reaction. I'm Reel It In Miles. I'll catch you guys in the next reaction video. Peace.